How's it going on guys? Uh, update on the car. I've been working on it, installing some stuff. Just got a haircut. Um, I got hood pins for my car because I'm tired of um, my basically hood latch. It's a piece of shit. Like, I don't know if you guys ever seen me struggle open my hood, but like, it's like with the cage in the way and the actual cable underneath the dash. It fucking sucks to install. Or it sucks to um, uh, open the hood. So basically I got some new hood pins. They're cheap eBay ones. Some ricer carbon fiber. But uh, I'm installing them, uh, my buddy Grant's installing them for me. I just got home from work. So let's go check in and see how uh, the install's going. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You wanted hood pins. All right, we're just fucking you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so eBay hood pins, don't recommend them. They were cheap as fuck. Um, that one, they cracked on me. They don't fit right, and they're really shitty. Uh, let me show you which ones I got. Can you grab the other one? And uh, as you see, the hood's fucked. I actually wanted to get a new hood forever. Um, a lot of you guys know I had that cut in my hood. Yeah, these are like the cheap eBay ones. With Slide, the, sliding them in an actual yeah. With, oh yeah, this, this strip the thread out. Yeah, this thing's like a piece of shit. These cheap fucking flush mount ones. These are garbage. So um, yeah, so my hood's kind of fucked. And then I've always had this cut in the hood. The someone, the kid before me, or two kids before me had this car. I don't know, like three owners ago, whatever. Someone put a latch, um, a tow hook, basically, like. The shot. I'm pretty sure this this is like what I think. I'm pretty sure that this was once owned by uh, the Navy SEALs. No, no, no. And what they did is they actually dropped it out of the CB22 no. at the back, and that was to get it in and out. The airplane? Yeah. The airplane, yeah. Of or course. parachute mount. Of course, or parachute mount. No, um. That's, that's the only sense yeah, I It had a tow hook out the front. A lot of you guys saw when I first got the car, if you've been on the channel for a long time. And then the other thing is, too, is the paint's fucked on the front of the hood. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like, this is all fucked. Here. So, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, there you go. So yeah, so I'm gonna buy a new black hood. That's what I'm getting at right now. So we just cut up the hood just to be funny, make a little post. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna order a new black hood from someone in Orlando or Tampa. Uh, ben used Miata Parts, has a shop in Tampa. He always hooks me up with uh, Miata Parts. And then for now, I'm just gonna take off the hood and run no hood. Race car. All right, it's a few days later, and um, who the fuck buys mini beers? This thing is tiny. Let me, let me show you. This is an iPhone. <laughs> Look how small this beer is. It's tiny. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Uh, I just got off work. It is now a few days later from the last clip, and uh, I actually found a new hood for my car. I'm supposed to pick it up today. I didn't. I'm working on the car. I'll probably pick it up this weekend. Um, I can't put it on anyway until I actually buy real hood pins. Like, it actually has like a cotter pin that goes over. Like, not the stupid fucking flush mounted eBay ones I bought. So, I'm gonna pick up a new hood. Found one, cheap, it's nice, way nicer than the rest of my car. So, it should be pretty solid. Um, right now, I am trying to install the or replace my oil pressure sensor. And basically, this is what reads um, the, my oil pressure gauge. It's, on the, it's like the left gauge on, in, like, in the middle of my dash. And it just says 150 the whole time because it's hooked up, but it's not like. It's not reading anything, so I need to replace this, and this is very important because knowing your oil pressure is like just as important as knowing your car's temperature, because if your car overheats, you can blow it up or break it, and if your car goes low on oil, you can break it. <laughs> so those are like the two most important things, and I've been driving around, driving around with no oil pressure gauge, which is very dangerous, so I'm trying to replace this, but it's an, a fucking bitch and a half to get to. It's basically... On the side of the block, okay, so this is the new one. The old one is right there, right here. So that's where the oil filter goes, it screws in right there, and that's where the one I need to replace is, is right there. So I need to get a wrench there to get that off, and I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do that. So, besides that, um, got the bike back together. I need to finish working on the uh, stunt subframe. I know some people were pretty excited to see that. It's uh, somewhere over there. Uh, I, all I need to do is just weld on one more support bracket, and then I'm going to um, get it powder coated. So I need to finish doing that. It's like a side project. The car is like top priority right now. And then um, I need to just button up a little few things this weekend. 
And today is Thursday, Thursday night. So hopefully I can get the car dialed this weekend and not be a lazy asshole and fix everything. I'm not fix anything, but just button it back up. And then hopefully next week I can turn it up, turn the power back up and go to the dyno and see if I can get like 300, 350. I don't know. But the car is at 237 right now, horsepower, and it is fun as shit to drive. I've been beating on it every time I take it out and I rip on it and it pulls. I mean, 240 horsepower Miata, like a true 240 horsepower Miata, it's pretty fun. It gets, it's quick, but I need more power. I do. I, all this money, all this time, I want like sketchy fast. All right, guys. So it's Friday, next day, and um, I just thought something pretty cool to do to end this video up. And I figured um, I definitely owe you guys kind of like ride and vlog type of scenario. Um, I haven't really driven the car and talked to you guys about it, how it's like to drive a turbo Miata. So I'm gonna hook up a GoPro, microphone, windshield mount, and kind of hook up in the car, take it for a spin, and uh, talk about the car. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, get the mic set up. Just pulling the car out of the garage so I can shut the garage door. All right, there definitely may be a little bit of wind noise. I apologize. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's my first time really doing this with a microphone, so bear with me. All right, so let me tell you what it's like driving a Turbo Miata. Um, one, I would never, ever, ever turbo my Miata <laughs> if it was my only car. And I feel like a lot of people watching my videos are turboing their Miata. And it's awesome because it's an awesome car to drive. But man, if this was my daily, it would suck. And it, it only probably only sucks for me because I have a full cage and no AC and no power steering. And I live in the middle of the desert or basically it's, uh, Florida, which is really fucking hot. Like, it's like 7 o'clock at night right now, and it's hot as shit out. And, uh, that guy almost hit me. Um. Oh, God. No power steering. Yeah, but that's probably the negatives of driving a turbo Miata. There are so many positives, though. Like, so many positives. I don't know if you guys can pick up the boot, the turbo noises, but God, they sound so good. <laughs> so just to recap, um, this is a 93 car, 95 motor. Um, it is turbo, fully built. I did all the work, but helped my friends. Um, it's pushing 237 horsepower to the wheels. That's true horsepower on a Mustang dyno. Um, hopefully next week I can turn that up to like three, 350. And I'm only running eight pounds of boost, which is just wastegate pressure. So that's like nothing. Like that's, I can put down a lot more power. Um, and oh my God, it's so much fun to drive. I'm on really shitty tires, but the car still handles so good. I just did a little change on the car. The car's got like a little over 300 miles on it. Running great. I mean, I say that now, knock on fucking wood, but so far, zero issues. Knock on wood. quick burnout 
and we gotta go. Enjoy these random car vlogs driving around like an idiot and uh